Hello everybody. Today I'm running at the Berkeley Fire Trail. So, for those of you East Coasters who don't know anything about fire trails, I think basically what a fire trail is, is it's trails all over the hills that they have so that emergency vehicles can get into the forest if there's ever a forest fire to try to put it out. But they also make very good hiking and running trails, so anyone in the community is allowed to use them whenever they want. Since the purpose of the trail is to get up into the hills, that naturally means the trail is very hilly and basically just goes straight up the ridge. But as far as trails around here go, I think this is a pretty manageable one that goes into the hills, so I like to run it sometimes. And also, there's lots of great views and the trail is very pretty, so all in all, I think it's worth it. So, that's a little bit about the trail. Let's go run it. All right, behind me is the biggest climb on this trail and what I've heard the locals refer to as Mount Fun. It's very steep and about, I'm not sure how long it is honestly, but it is very steep. So time to go up it. The trick is slow and steady. made it to the top of the mountain and I figured this would be a good place to stop so you guys can enjoy the view a little bit and I can talk to you about my blurb for this week which is talking about listening to music while you're running. So I'm gonna start by saying I usually never, absolutely never, listen to music while I'm running and most people initially think it's because I want to like listen to my body or something or know how my body feels, but that's not why I do it. I don't like listening to music while I run because for me, running is basically like meditative. Like I'm not thinking about anything when I'm running, my mind just kind of wanders and music kind of distracts from that. Without going into too much detail, that's why I don't like to listen to music while I'm running. But that being said, today I did listen to music while I was running because Jay told me about this app that he really liked and I thought I would give it a shot. So the app is called Weave Running and what it is is the people who made it, I guess, took a bunch of songs and edited them somehow so that they can be sped up and slowed down to any pace and still sound like a normal song. So for starters, the ideal case to run at is 180 beats per minute and they know this because they basically just analyzed a bunch of professional runners cadences and the average across the board was 180 so just trust the pros on this one what it does is it reads your cadence and then matches the beat of the song to your cadence so it's always in tempo with how you're running. So I tested it on the way up here and I feel like I really put it through the works because with all the ups hills and downhills, I was constantly like changing my tempo. And here's my professional review. First of all, the music. You're not able to pick your own songs because you have to use the songs that they like edited their special way or whatever. But most of it is like pop music, which wasn't necessarily what I would listen to normally, but it was all good music to run to, I guess. Plus, it's all songs you know, and they're like kind of sped up a little bit, so it's really like intense and I guess like good for working out. I don't know, I don't usually listen to music. But then there were a couple songs that were kind of on like the awkward tipping point where it's like speed it up or slow it down to get the beats matching with your steps. So sometimes it would slow the song way down and I feel like that was kind of weird, but all in all, it worked pretty well. And then as for it matching to your footsteps, which is really the point of the whole app, the whole first half of my run, I feel like it was working really well, but then the second half, I feel like it started to slip off. Uh, I don't really know. It was good, but I feel like there's probably room for improvement. Overall though, coming from someone who doesn't usually run with music, if I were to run with music, I would definitely prefer using this app. Just because it kind of makes the music feel more incorporated with your running, rather than it's just like a completely separate thing meant to like distract you from what you're doing. Yeah, 
I enjoyed it. So that's all I have to say about that. But while we're talking about running with technology, you may have also noticed that I was running with this thing today. So believe it or not, a vlogging while running is very difficult, so I got this uh, chest mount strap for my GoPro that I thought would make things easier. I tried to use it when I was running on the dirt track, but the video was still really shaky, so I wasn't too thrilled with it. I figured I would give it another chance today, but I'm not gonna know if the footage is good or not until I go home to edit it. And like I said before, I usually don't run with music, don't run with cameras. Carrying all this equipment with me is really going against everything I stand for in running. Me and Jay always look down on people that bring anything with them, so I'm just being the biggest hypocrite right now. But you gotta do what you gotta do for the vlog, am I right? So I think that's all I have to say today. I'm just gonna run back down the hill now. If you have any future ideas for blurbs or suggestions about the show, comments about the show, please comment below. And that's all I got today. So happy running, guys.